Coming up on the show, I'll tell you the top five movies to watch on Netflix before they expire in May, because when they're gone, when they're gone. Hello and welcome to Stream On, the show that keeps you in the know of everything happening on your favorite streaming platforms. Before we talk about the movies leaving Netflix in the month of May, let's dig into a couple of news items as it relates to the world of streaming. Up first, Netflix and actor-comedian Aziz Ansari are collaborating again. Netflix has ordered 10 episodes straight to series of a new comedy show created by Aziz. We don't know the name of the show or if it's a sitcom or sketch show. But we do know that it's going to be produced by Ansari himself, in addition to the creators of Parks and Recreation. Now I hear that they are filming now, so expect to hear more information about this new series in the coming months. You apparently wanted it, so they're bringing it. Netflix announced this week that Full Er House is indeed happening. This is the spin-off sequel to Full House. It will bring back the characters of DJ Tanner, Stephanie Tanner, and Kimmy Gibbler. Uncle Jesse, John Stamos, will play a reoccurring character and will produce the series. And other original cast members of Full House are in negotiations to appear. At this time, I would like to take credit for figuring out how the name Fuller House came to be, that it relates to her new married surname, DJ Tanner hyphen Fuller. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. However, I do still have concerns that this is not going to be a quality piece of television. But if you're excited about it, well then, you got it, dude. Finally, I want to take a minute to talk about Crackle. Crackle is the free streaming platform owned by Sony Pictures. It's ad supported. They recently decided that they wanted to hold their own Upfronts press conference where they made several announcements about original content coming to the service. Most exciting for me is that Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee is coming back for another season in June. I love this show. It's probably my favorite thing to stream ever. Hosted by Jerry Seinfeld. Check out the first two episodes, Larry David and Ricky Gervais. They will leave you laughing. Also coming is the movie sequel nobody was asking for, Joe Dirt 2, Beautiful Loser, is coming to Crackle in July. Two new original series are making their way to Crackle. The first one is a stop-motion animated series called Super Mansion. It revolves around superheroes and features the voice talent of Breaking Bad's Brian Cranston. The other new show is their first hour-long drama. It's going to star Dennis Quaid. I am doing my job uh, Hold on, Dennis. Uh, it stars Dennis Quaid. It's called The Art of More and has uh, interest into the fine art auction houses. That's what that series is going to deal with. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I know you're going to be checking out the Laugh Supper Improv Show Saturday night, but you'll need some movies to watch the rest of the weekend, and I have my recommendations for the top five movies that are leaving Netflix soon, so you'll want to check them out as quickly as possible. Leaving Netflix on May 1st is a trio of 80s flicks which could not be more different. First up is Airplane, the comedy classic. It's probably the zaniest movie you will ever see. It stars Leslie Nielsen and Peter Graves. It came out in the year 1980, and nobody named Shirley has ever been the same since. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Also the 80s movie, Robocop, the original. Peter Weller stars as the Detroit police officer that is critically injured and is rebuilt as Robocop. Part man, part machine, all oh, cop. It is so 80s and is so awesome. And then finally, the animated movie Secret of Nim is also from the 80s, leaving us on May 1st. It's a very dark tale that seems to be more geared towards adults than children. Animated movie buffs swear by this movie. So check out these three movies on Netflix before they leave on May 1st. Expiring on May 2nd is the movie Flight, which is a film that I still need to see, so I'm going to take my own advice here. Matt. 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 Put the taco down and listen for a second. Flight, the movie. It's been in your instant queue since it was released. That was a long time ago. It's expiring on May 2nd. You need to watch it. You like Denzel, right? You love uh, Robert Zemeckis, the director, right? So just watch it. Okay, back to the taco. You got it, dude! Oh boy. 
Is that catching on again? And the last movie I have for you is Skyfall, which will be coming off Netflix on May 5th. Now, Skyfall is the latest James Bond movie starring Daniel Craig. Javier Bardem plays a great, creepy villain in this movie. So I know you're going to want to watch it again before it expires on May 5th. And if you haven't seen Skyfall yet, what's wrong with you? Do you hate cinema? It's fantastic. The action is great. The story is great. All of the new characters, mwah, love them. Skyfall, May 5th. Don't miss it. Okay, so that wraps up this week's episode of Stream On. If you'd like the full list of the content leaving Netflix in the month of May, I'm going to post it in the description of the YouTube video. If you're watching on Facebook, check out the new Facebook channel fan page, which you can like, and I will post the movie list there. Thank you so much for watching. Until you see you next time, Stream On! Stream On! This is it! Saturday, April 25th, the Laugh Supper Improv Comedy at Weld in Dallas, Texas. Two shows at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Tickets still available. Check out Facebook.com slash The Laugh Supper for more information.